parts of Iron 4 as Ireland join the Axis. I'm Ace 8 and we're going to be joining the Axis in about 50 days, so less than two months. We're, we're nearly fully fleshed out, got most of our... Ooh, they've got one Canadian division there. The question, of course, is, will we be able to hold once they start pushing? No. Oh, we'll try. Oh, Peru has declared war in Ecuador. Big surprise. That always happens. Ten days. Here we go. Hmm. And looks like we might have this. Right, you guys push in towards Belfast. Ooh, looks like we might have Douglas at least. Our troops are falling back to the We lost one, in looks like we lost a paratrooper division. Make that two divisions. But it worked. I mean, holy crap, that worked. So what do I want for the, for the first airborne? Hmm, extra defense wouldn't be bad. Reardon's game wouldn't be bad. That would be very good. Attack against major companies, countries. So, it's eventually dropped into, into, and same for the other guys. Now, where was I? Field hospital. Above their inc recovery rate, I think so. And now. We gain claims on all of these now. Oh, and I need to build trains. I oh, don't have enough of those, so time to commandeer a few. Do some ant raid some ant these ant democratic forces. Oh, look at that. We did it. Let's quickly. Area. And let's just build another defensive line here. You two. There. And a submarine. Excellent. Hmm. Losing convoys. There's not much I can really do about that at the moment. I've got some extra. Let's build a few, a few more of these. Oh, we are short of equip of infantry equipment for some reason. We have to use this. Let's see. Garrison requires seventy five infantry equipment versus. 120 for two suppression. You know, I'm going to try using these instead, just to see if they are more cost effective. Just 
because normally the way you do this would be oh yeah that requires a lot of infantry equipment and let's see is that working of course by the time this is complete we won't actually need that anymore I need to get, so I do need to get a few more of these. Ah yes, and the third airborne for mark for liberating Belfast, you will gain. I think experienced soldier losses will probably be most useful there. Both of you can hold the. Uh, Right. I'll fill up some air there. We don't have nearly enough convoys for that. Which means we need to start. That's by the way, hey, can't push. Get this because they'll mean less garrisons required overall. Next and we have a single German motorized division that we can support here as well. Now, the question becomes These are Italian troop convoys, that's helpful. I don't have anyone who can actually help the actually help them, but what else I can really do. We really have the. I don't think we can really go toe to toe with that. At least in the air. What we do is. This to get. And this guy is up. We finally lost a submarine. I don't think that's too much of a problem. Ooh, naval invasion of Munster and Leinster. Whereabouts are they aiming for? Cork. Probably Dublin, so. Oh, we're now we're at war with the USSR as well. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound, I guess. Now, let's see what they're doing. Ooh, they have only 33% towards capitulation. Nice.
Right, and just like this, our resistance arc will drop will drop overnight because we have cores in the place. Right, do, 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 do. We're dockyards thing so we can get these subs out quicker. target for that is maybe three percent hmm let's just spend the put the back the xp to create this Oh yeah, that requires a lot more infantry equipment. It seemed to have made much difference. So I might as well this require vampire per suppression, vampire per vision. Also cheaper, so this is no use to me. So can I upgrade these five? Let's see if I can put some extra heavy guns on. All right, that works for me. The do they have anything down? Do they have anything in Scotland? Not. And with this, the way it is, Pittsburgh to Al. Probably the best thing I can do for the for the access right now is build up these. I build up as much stuff from from the front lines. Yeah, the AI never bothers me. Hurts me up the wall almost. I have to end up doing everything. Uh, it looks like they have at least infantry divisions like Gla near Glasgow. And however many, many down here. Of enough intel to see what that is. They have a lot, me way more divisions than we do. So yeah, I'm gonna be kind of reliant on my allies to do a lot of this. It usually goes with Ireland. Oh, this guy is finally a probably making a first rating specialist. Basically waiting to get Seawolf up so I can buff him up and subs even more. We need them. We do not have enough air superiority for again yeah, air a landing in Scotland.
Okay, we have an ace pilot. All right, having got these extra dockyards, I'm going to go straight into construction engineering now because we have a lot to build and we need to build quickly. Ah, we lost. Screw it. Yeah. I'm not sure how I'm going to get out of this part. But, but I think the best thing we can really do now is just tie down the Brits so they can't do much else. Did they just cra have a couple of their fighters and stuff crash? Whoa. I think I need to start getting some some cruisers to try and help clean out this clean up the skies around around the islands. We're basically shooting the down a lot of planes and disrupting a lot, but that's just going to take a while to actually do anything there. Naval supremacy. We just push. I don't think we have the troops for it. Oh yeah, they have a lot of troops here. Here. Ooh, this is not looking good. Yeah. So much to build. France declared war in the Philippines, which means they're going to declare war on us. I'm not sure I can really do this. Yep, they're trying to naval invade us. I don't think that'll work, but you never know. Like we're dug, we're dug in. And now I think about, it, I probably have enough to get the. Let's see. Ah, uh, we'd be short of inventory equipment for this. Wouldn't be short of support equipment, but. Board another nope, can't afford another fighter squadron. It's getting back the transports link. I can't really land with, on our the island. But at the same point, we can't exactly do much. What's happening on, in Ireland? Frontier is just going. As well as it usually does, aka there's supply problems all over the place. I'm the only seem to be the only one who actually builds any of the supply up. Ever. No. Yeah. Spending a lot on special projects. Like a bumping up our oh. good news is that these things are relatively quick to build.
50% air superiority. Is that going to be enough? Nope, we need 70. Mm -hmm. Oh, back to this um, centralized control. Doesn't seem to have helped much. Might be because they have more planes than we do. Yeah, I'm beginning to see why. Might also be that I'm just not a very good player, especially not on the attack. But I'm starting to see why Ireland's joining the Axis was never really a thing in real life. It just wasn't going to happen. Okay, this has been going to be shorter than my than my previous two episodes. The problem is, it's just getting pretty boring already. I just can't figure out how to capitalize on the advantage I have here. What advantage I have? Do I even have one? Can't get air superiority. Can't get naval supremacy. We need both of those to push onto mainland Britain. Looks like I might be just be playing this in the lo this on the long game. So I'm going to leave this episode here. Probably come back to it after the weekend. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.